Hi there YouTube, it's Clormo from Chromo Industries Music Group bringing you part 4 of my Logic Pro X tutorial series. This one has to deal with chopping, splitting audio regions, getting them in a sampler instrument. But mainly what I'm going to do in this video is just cover the techniques of splitting an audio region, or the ones that I mainly use. How to set that in a sampler instrument, obviously to create sample tracks. But another quick thing that I wanted to mention before I start is that you can use this to build your sound libraries. I'm not going to cover how to do that in this video, but I just wanted to mention it. So let's get right on to the tutorial here. I have two tracks, a drum break or drum part in a song section that I have both detect detected the tempo of using the techniques that I showed in my previous videos and I have align them to the, the proper beats or measurement in the scale here. Let's hear this drum break real quick just so you get an idea. Nothing fancy, just a simple, simple kick and snare and hat. The first way you can chop a, an audio region is using the splitting regions and events at the playhead position command and that's self-explanatory wherever the playhead is it's gonna split your audio region for for that you need to have your audio region selected in this in in my case my shortcut key for that is the plus sign in the keyboard so you can see I split it right at the playhead I'm gonna undo that but you can also go to edit split add playhead it's gonna do the same thing or right click go to split split a playhead does the same thing very simple you can do that on its own and repeat copy and paste these regions however you want as is it a drum break and create a four bar or two bar loop out of the same one bar sounds that I have in this region so I'm gonna undo that and the other way of doing this that I use and that probably you should know by now if you don't is using your marquee tool and I have talked about this in my previous videos as well so there's two ways of accessing that you can set it up in your command click tool button which I have because I use it I use it quite a bit and what that does is enables you to use the command key and then with your left click it's gonna do your marquee marker as I call it I'm not exactly sure if that's the real name for it and the other way that you can do it is by showing your tool menu which in my case is the T key in my keyboard and then selecting the marquee tool which is right almost at the bottom or you can press the E as it said is there and you can do the same thing so how it works you don't need to have your audio region selected you just click wherever you want hit the delete key and it's gonna split right there the good thing about your marquee tool is that it will catch the transients for you so what that does is when I press the right and left arrows it will catch the different transients I have spoken about this in my previous videos as well and you can also highlight an area and if you press the delete key it's just gonna delete that area which could come in handy depending on the situation I'm gonna undo that or you can also highlight copy and then paste and it's gonna paste or it's gonna extract that area from there well that's two ways that you can use the marquee tool and that's the pretty much the two simplest ways that you can use to chop a, a an auto region and I'm not gonna lie to you I use them a lot because they're a very efficient way of performing this instead of doing something more complicated if there is out there I'm not sure there might be I don't want to know them but last but not least a third way that you can indirectly 
split an audio region is by selecting it and converting it to a new sampler track and you might be thinking well I have heard or I have seen in other videos that you need to chop off your audio region to create a new sampler track well yes and no you can do that if you know exactly what your chops are gonna be from the audio region that you have but if you just want to chop at every transient you don't need to chop your audio region beforehand what you need to do is just select it and you can go to right click convert convert to new sample track or if you have been paying attention you can see the shortcut that I have here I'm not sure if that's the default shortcut but if it if it isn't set it in your key commands you can check my previous videos on how to do that so I'm gonna do just that there if I select regions it's gonna create one zone which is just gonna take that auto region as it is and put it in a sample track you may want to do that I don't know but if you want to chop it at every transient marker without doing it manually with the marquee tool you just set transient markers and it's gonna split it exactly at those transient markers that create the amount zones that it will create based on the auto region that you have from here you can name it whatever you want and if you have this create one shot zones click it's gonna create one shot zones in the only thing I'm gonna mention here is the premium versions of logic I'm pretty sure that this was not present there from the start and you had to go to the actual sampling instrument and change it if you wanted one shot zones but now it lets you do it you know right from this menu so I'm just gonna hit OK so you can see what the result is and there it is it creates if I open the piano roll and create it, each note has a zone from those transient markers. Which is pretty neat because you can save that instrument as well. I'm not gonna show you how to do that here, but you can you can save it if you want it and have it ready for any other project that you use. So I'm gonna close the piano track. I'm gonna go to I'm gonna mute this one on mute the second track which is a song section just give it a quick listen you may know where that came from and you may not you may also know or may have noticed that it's pitch because I want YouTube to stop bothering me telling me that I'm using something that's not mine so the reason why I have this track here is to show you a, again the convert to a new sample track versus using the marquee tool because both should give you the same results but one is more manual than the other and obviously using the marquee tool would let you select the exact areas that you wanna chop as you can see if I start from the very beginning of the playhead there's one transient, there's another, there's another. So every time I hit delete, I'm going to create a chop in that area. However, you may not want to have from that transient to that transient split out. You may want to start hit there as your first split. So that's where the marquee tool will come in handy. Now, if you really wanted to chop everything, for a, an audio region of this type which is from a song and it's not just a simple snare where you can visualize where you want to split it probably using the full command of convert and reuse to new sample track by transient markers is going to help you more in that regard and in this case it's going to create 20 zones so you, you can see how if you're time constrained this is going to help you immensely to do that so I'm going to hit OK and again I just get the same result right so I went all the way to this node which is 20 zones according to this so I'm gonna undo that and repeat the same process but with my marquee tool and all I'm doing is pressing my right arrow key in my keyboard and then delete to create the the shop right that's it I'm done 
And now this goes back to what I said in the beginning, that you don't necessarily need to split your auto region up to create a new sample track. In this case, I, since I have done it, I select everything and do the same thing. Go to the command, but instead of transient markers, I'm going to select regions. And there's my result. As you can see, that was the, if you remember, that was the last note when I did it without splitting it. And I get the same result here. So it's your choice how you want to do it. It will come in handy in some situations, some of the situations you will want to have more control with your marquee tool. And that's fine. That, that may happen. I'm going to undo all of that. And I'm going to repeat one last time that process just for the drums with the region just to show you. You see, you just created a one shot zone of the whole thing, which is not exactly useful in my opinion, but it could be. Now, I'm going to repeat that again but with the transients before we close this out so I can go into the ESX24 instrument. If you have your advanced settings enabled, it will let you go into edit. And you can see the one shot is already selected because that gives you now the option to do it. And as you have, you may have seen in other videos, you can change the polyphony of these and get very creative. Also, I wanted to mention this reverse here. This will give you a lot of freedom to create some, maybe some sound effects and stuff like that and accents. So the ESX24, although it's very simple, and I realize that Logic doesn't have probably the most powerful sample instrument from all the other DAWs out there, it's pretty neat. It has a few things that you can use. And last but not least, what I wanted to, another thing, the last thing that I wanted to mention, I should say, is that different from previous Logic Pro versions, you don't have to create groups from the splits that you make this already creates a group by default when you create your sample instrument using any of the two commands that I show you can change your prolifony here to one and to recap all that does is that when you press a key in your instrument and you quickly press another you're gonna interrupt the first sound from completely playing once you press your second key or I should say you can do that obviously it will depend on what you want and if you want to do that and as almost everything that you can do in logic you can save it I won't save it because that's not the point of this and there you have it just to recap you can split your regions or chop them by the playhead you can use your marquee tool or you can convert to a sampler instrument using the transients option and it will split it up for you automatically into every transient so pretty self-explanatory pretty easy and two things that you can do with it obviously create a sampler instrument to play live your your chops and create a beat from that or you can use them to save the instrument have it ready for other projects and just play live or play the different sounds however you want and that will help you build your sound library in the future so very useful stuff and that's it for this tutorial if you like this video please hit the like button subscribe to stay on top on my other videos as I put other tutorials in this list on this series as well and if you didn't like it you can hit the dislike button that's up to you as well if you have any questions you can leave a comment leave a comment for anything that you want but if you have questions shoot them out in the comments as well if I don't know the answer I will find it for you I don't have any problem with that I like sharing my knowledge 
because I, in my opinion, my estimation, that's a very good way to network and help others and, you know, build relationships that way. Something that us producers nowadays probably need more than before so that we can help each other and get our music out there and get our music known. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at Chloromo. You can also find me on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram, SoundCloud, and my webpage www.chloromoindustry.com. Keeping a blog in there. I have a beat store out there. I will keep posting free stuff there so you can check it out whenever you get a chance. Share like subscribe see you next time youtube peace out